thank you all very much for being here. For being here, this is very encouraging for Liberty, New Hampshire, that we have so many people that are willing to be uh, volunteers and help educate the public and the legislature, more importantly, on liberty issues. So appreciate that. Uh, my name is Mark Warden. I'm on the board of directors of the NHLA, New Hampshire Liberty Alliance, and officially want to welcome you. I'll make a couple introductions as well. This is Jeremy Olson. Any of you that's on the NHLA mailing list has seen his stuff come out. He's the research director, also on the board of the NHLA. Okay. I'm just Carol McGuire. She's just recently stepped down, so past political director for That's NHLA. Treasurer. I'm sorry, past treasurer for NHLA. She's also sitting state rep. So what we're going to do today is we have a wide variety of uh, experience levels here with doing bill review training, being involved inside the system of politics. So hopefully you guys are all should be in, inside the system uh, as opposed to uh, some of the other forms of activism out there. And that's what we're here today to do is to learn how to be more effective up in the state house in Concord, working with the state reps, the state senators. Um, and that's really the mission of the New Hampshire Liberty Alliance. First of all, we're all volunteer, nonprofit, nonpartisan organization based in New Hampshire, started up about five, six years ago. And um, excellent members have put in a lot of time as bill reviewers, as testifying uh, citizen lobbyists up in Concord. So we try to be a uh, go between between the uh, and be advocates for taxpayers, citizens, and then try to be effective in the legislature and let them know uh, that we're out there. Because usually in the legislature, all that thank you, all they hear is this constant parade of ABC uh, agencies and departments Obviously. going there for more money, more controls, more regulations, right? More stranglehold on our lives. So. We need to uh, be a voice for the people, for liberty, for freedom in New Hampshire. Um, now we're going to have different groups here. What we try to do with NHLA is we, you know, clearing house of other liberty-oriented organizations like the 912ers, could be the gun rights people, the marijuana, medical marijuana legalization people, uh, what other et cetera. groups? What? Et cetera. Et cetera. <laughs> Anything that's a liberty issue. We may not agree with that group on everything, but we're going to help you on that on one there, issue. Yeah, we have people who, who want to do something. I think they, they need to know what's available to do. And, and, and I think that's the biggest challenge we have. That's a good point. Not everybody's interested in you know, reading through the bills, but obviously we have this group here, and we know there are many more of us out there that are willing to do the same. So we've got to spread the word. Okay. okay. The point of these introductions is to see what a, a wide breadth of experience, and issues, and expertise we have just in this small group. So whether you're, if your issue is education and that's your passion, especially your experience in it, maybe you want to concentrate on some of the education bills that come before us. Uh, if it's guns, any of the other special interests, LLCs, business and taxes, you can concentrate on that. There are going to be ultimately probably eight or 900 pieces of legislation that go before committees in the legislature. A lot of them don't get very far, thankfully. But um, unfortunately, there are several hundred that do to make it out of committee. And that's where we really need our efforts for. One of the things that happens with the bill review process is we review, analyze, and rate all of these bills. And then the ones that rate very highly uh, as either pro-liberty or a low, I mean, anti-liberty impact, we try to follow through the state house legislative process. That may be as simple as sending an email to our members, asking them to reach out to their legislators. It uh, may be actually going and testifying at a bill hearing. And we offer training on that. People would like to do that as well. And then also at the <coughs> end of the year, oh no, then during the uh, legislative process, we print something called the gold standard by the NHLA. This is it's just a one page sheet that we hand out to every floor session for the house. And they meet, correct me if I'm wrong, Carol, is it every week? It's more typically? or less every Wednesday. It's yeah. probably 10 or 12 sessions. And what we'll do is we'll call the most important bills in our minds for that, when I say us or we, I mean the NHLA board. And we'll take the most important bills up before the legislature that day, for that week, and we'll write a little pro-liberty blurb and our recommendation on how to vote. So what we try to do is educate and inform the legislature. They remember there are 400 people just in the House, 400 reps. There's no way they can read all the legislation. They typically don't even read everything that comes before their own committees, much less other committees. Wow. So this is a cheat sheet for liberty. <clears throat> it's as simple as it gets for those folks. There are other caucuses, like Republicans and Democrats, and some other uh, special
especially just groups that do something similar. But this is the only one that's always liberty, always libertarian in its scope. So this comes from a lot of the work you guys do on the bill review. Then at the end of the year, we publish the 2009 Liberty Rating. And what we do here is put, give a, a grade, like a high school grade, A through F. And there's even one worse than what F called the constitutional threat. So we assign a letter grade to all the, all the legislators in the House and Senate. And this is based on votes they took that we that were public votes that we could track that had a definitive pro or anti liberty uh, effect. All right? So if we suggested they vote against the anti liberty ones or for the ones, we track those, then usually use 40 to 50 votes at the end of the year to give them a rating. This is now a, vo a voter's guide or a voter's cheat sheet. When they walk in the ballot box, they can look up where they live, their district, say, oh, my guy got an A or B or an F. Or a CT. So, or a CT. <laughs> anyway. Or a CT. So this is all good work that the NHL is doing. It all starts right here with the vote review process. We have, thanks, free bumper stickers. Usually we sell these, but for all of you guys, anybody would like the bumper sticker, please take one. We especially appreciate if you put it on your car or your neighbor's <laughs> car. Or, <your> wife's car. <laughs> <laughs> or if you go to work, put it on the, the boss's car. All right? And spread the good word. So it's, it's too much for us to speechify in a big group like this. Let's break up, you know, third, third, third. I think we can fit more people in here and there. If you have a lot, laptop, please get it out. And we're going to start going through the mechanics, first of all, of how the website works. And after that, we'll get a little bit more into the uh, more nuanced philosophy and approach to uh, doing these things. So these are the amendments for last year's. These are the amendments for the retained bill. Yep. By inserting as inserted. What does that mean? That didn't sound right. RSA as inserted. How about our house bills and Senate bills and CACRs. The mechanics is really easy, but I'm not. Yeah. To, um, I'll take a look at it. Yeah. No, no, I actually want to testify to the seatbelt. Some, some sort of yeah. yeah. so yeah. so yeah. so yeah. 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 thing. Yeah. 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 Yeah.